Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step how to paint another landscape. So today we're gonna to be working on a winter themed landscape and we're working on a five by seven black primed canvas. I'll list all the colors and brushes below in the description of this video. We've got turquoise, phthalo blue, and a bit of white that we're gonna be starting this painting with. And I've got a large mop brush. You can use any blending brush that you have though. And I'm just having fun here, just sort of zigzagging that paint around, and then I'm going to softly start blending it. You can add it however you want, though. And I'm going to go up to the top with a little bit more of that blue and turquoise. And just blend away till I get a soft looking sky. Then what I'm going to do is come in with some pretty little bushes down on the bottom. And without washing my brush off, I'm just going to tap right into that white and the turquoise again. Using this same brush, I'm going to push and tap more on the side of the brush than straight up and down. This way I get bushes looking flat on the bottom, like they're resting on the ground. I'll do some smaller ones so they're a little bit lighter in tone towards the background. Then I'm going to come in with a flat brush. This is a smaller flat brush. And I'm going to take phthalo blue and turquoise and start sliding my brush side to side and then I'm going to create little lines that get wider and wider as they go down. This will eventually be a staircase down to a little pond or a little lake or a river. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white with my turquoise and add some highlights. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is turn my brush sideways with a little bit of phthalo blue and a little bit of turquoise, and I'm going to start pulling in a few different lines. Pulling and flicking, turning my brush both ways. This is going to start um, the beginning of our forest and our snow covered trees that we've got. We're going to have a couple larger ones on either side that'll create more perspective, and then they're going to get smaller as they go off into the distance. Now to begin, the moon. I'm going to take a little filbert brush and you can use a round brush too if you want for this. Titanium white and I'm just going to twist and turn around. Now the problem here is that my sky is wet underneath so instead of drying it off I'm just going to take more white and I'm going to keep applying it eventually building it up brighter and brighter as we get further into this video and this painting. I'm going to take a little bit of white on the tip of my brush again and I'm going to just start making little taps that are going to get larger and larger towards the foreground. Um, this will also help us create that perspective of um, things farther away and closer to us here in the foreground. So just light little pushes and taps and if you want yours to look really snowy that you've got lots of heavy snow on your bushes and whatever it is in your painting it could be snow covered rocks then just take a lot more white and just put it on apply it a lot thicker and i will be doing that as i get further along in this painting i like to do a lighter layer first let that kind of set in and then um, add more snow as it starts to dry a little bit. So I'm going to just do some smaller trees back here right under the moon. I'm still using my little filbert brush. This is a great little brush for creating little trees. I find that I have more control using a filbert brush than a fan brush. And I've got a larger filbert brush to work on my larger trees and bushes. So I'm going to turn my brush sideways to create a little tree trunk. And then I'm going to start tapping side to side, pushing and tapping just with that titanium white. So at this point, this tree does look pretty just with this light layer. It looks like a frosty tree. It's just got a little bit of frost on it. But then eventually I'm going to add more and more white because I love that heavy looking snow on trees. It just weighs down the branches. So I'm going to continue making trees. I'll make another large one on this side. Again, doing the same thing. 
pushing and tapping, smaller little ones at the top, and then they're going to get wider and heavier towards the bottom of the tree. Now it's nice to overlap too, that really gives you that sense of uh, 3D and it sets those other trees back in the distance. So don't be afraid to go in front of one of your other trees and, and just build up layers like that guys. It's really, really fun to do. And um, I'm gonna add some more snow, some more white paint here. Another layer on top. Light little taps. Now you can decide how much um, snow you want to have in your painting. I just love creating um, really snowy winter wonderland landscapes. They're a lot of fun. And then I'm going to just add a few little sweeps here. Maybe there's some mountains back there. Nothing too fancy. You really don't have to do a lot of detail to make it look like there's some mountains back there. Again, pushing into the white, loading the end of my brush up. So I've got a nice amount, good amount of paint on the end there. And I'm going to add a lot more to this tree here in the foreground. I want it to be just covered in snow. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to start working on the moon a little bit more. It's ready to take another layer of paint. So I've just got a little brown brush here, taking just straight titanium white, and I'm going to do a few little dabs around it. They might be snowflakes, they might be stars. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of wiggle around and blend those in a little bit just because they're a little bit too distracting and I'm not really happy with how those look. So I'm just going to lightly push that paint around, tapping and blending softly. Okay, so now I'm going to take an old toothbrush that I like to use for creating snow and stars in my paintings. So you're going to turn it over and pull and flick. You want to get it wet first and then pick up a little bit of a titanium white or whatever color that you want to use. And then turn it over, pull up on those bristles to flick. And that creates more of a natural um, look to snow in the sky, I think. So I'm just going to wiggle a few little areas in here. And then I'm going to create another kind of a tree right here, I think. Just do a few little taps and then a little ring around the moon. I'm just going to dab more white paint just with my pinky. Sometimes it's easier to add uh, white to your sun and your moons when you use um, the end of your finger rather than a brush because the brush can leave a lot of um, kind of uh, streaks in there and brush strokes and you won't get that nice smooth look. So I'm going to take a little flat brush right now with a little bit of titanium white and I'm just going to tap out some branches very nice and light. Nothing too heavy. Then I'm going to switch over to uh, my large filbert brush and I'm going to tap in a little bit more to make some of these um, branches a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to end up doing is pulling some tree branches kind of across the top of the canvas and around the moon. And then I'm going to come in here and add a little cozy cabin. I'm loving my little cozy cabin and cottage winter retreat paintings lately. And I've got a whole list of winter um, themed paintings. So I'll leave a link below the description um, or at the end of this video too. And if you guys are wanting to um, paint some more winter or Christmas themed paintings, I've got a lot for you guys um, to keep you busy through the long winter months. I've even got some hand painted ornaments as well that you might like to learn how to paint. So I'm taking a liner brush now and I'm just going to pull and wiggle 
skinny little branches. I want it to feel like those branches are kind of curling around the moon. And I'm getting a little bit more snow here on the tree trunk and some of the branches. Then I'm going to go back to my little flat brush and I'm going to start adding the snow to the tops of the stairs. Remember your stairs are going to get smaller and smaller as they get further away and slightly wider towards the bottom. But we're going to stop right in this area here because we want this to be um, a little pond or lake or maybe people are walking down from their cabin and they're and it's frozen over and they're going to go skating. So add a little bit of white down on the bottom just to make it look a little bit more icy. And I'm just going to start scumbling off some of that paint exposing um, the canvas underneath that black and, and dark blue and I'll begin this little cabin. So two little diagonal lines and then a long line on the bottom connecting them. Super easy. I've got a ton of cabin and cottage um, landscape paintings. Lots and lots of easy step-by-step -step tutorials for you guys if you want to start incorporating little cabins in your um, landscape paintings. I like to keep it really simple and just concentrate on light and shadow um, to really make it look cozy and um, fit right into any landscape. So here I'm going to be using uh, my little filbert brush that has those little spaces between it. It's a Zen Even Tail Wisp filbert brush and you can get these on Amazon. I found mine at Michael's Art Store in Canada. Uh, I'm sure you can find them at any fine art store. And I also have a fan brush that's like this too. It's really, really fun to use. So I just pulled across with a little bit of black and blue with that um, even tail filbert to make it look like logs. So it looks more like a log cabin. Now I'm coming in with a white for the bright snow on the roof. And I'm going to leave a little line there just for the shadow for the chimney. Now to finish this painting up, I'm going to add a few little windows, a little bit of white, three windows here, one on the top and one for the door. This painting is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little winter landscape and subscribe to my channel for more. Leave a comment and like this video. See you next time everybody. Bye!